Hello everyone, this is Jennifer, your services librarian in Woman Public Library. How are you guys today? Welcome to STEAM Lab. Today, we're going to do Act Drop Challenge. So basically, uh, you're going to use any materials at home, uh, recycled materials like uh, pa uh, toilet paper rolls or any cotton balls or any straws. So things you can find easily find at home. We're going to build a device for Act Drop Challenge. So you're gonna build it, and then you're gonna. Uh, your main goal is to protect the raw egg from breaking, and you're gonna create a little device, very protective one, to test if it will work. Okay, when you're ready, you're gonna. I'm gonna start, and I hope you guys have fun with that. These are the materials that I found at home that I'm gonna use today: some straws, uh, toilet paper rolls cotton balls, tape, and lastly, obviously, an egg. So today, we're going to design the device using materials, uh, some recycled materials and some that I have at home to uh, protect raw egg from high fall. So, as everyone knows, when you drop an item from up from high, gravity pulls it down. So gravity down, downward force will make an object fall to the ground. And today we're gonna create a device to protect an egg when it falls, when gravity pulls it to the ground. So we're gonna kind of create a landing craft that will protect an egg. And I'm gonna test uh, my egg drop device and see what happens and uh, when you're at home if you want to uh, do it in up like even higher locations you can try it but for safety reasons you have to be, be careful and make sure your device is not uh, really hard and unsafe you have to think about that when you drop it from the high up, high up distance and you have to clear the area before you drop your egg, um, egg drop device. Okay, we're gonna start now. Okay, first I'm gonna think about how I'm gonna design my egg drop device. So I have these materials that I can use today. So feel free to use any other materials that you can find at home. Uh, so, I'm gonna... Uh, think more about this and then I'm going to design my device. So since I have this, I can fit this in here somehow and make a first la layer of protection. And using these straws, I'm going to create the second layer of protection to protect my raw egg. So I already cut this up, toilet paper rolls like this. So. Using this, I'm going to create a first, like I said, first uh, layer of protection. So the first way I tried is to cut this uh, paper, uh, toilet paper roll in half, made a first layer of protection like this. So the first one is kind of wrapped around my egg, and the second one is put, I put it on the bottom like this. And now I'm going to use these straws to create second uh, protection layer for the sack. Now I have second layer of protection using this straws. As you can see, I kind of wrap, uh, stack this straws around this egg like this. And, but I'm not going to use this as it is. I am going to put more straws to give more protection. I have um, my egg drop device looking like this. It looks very weird, right? <laughs> but the way I did it is to, um, when you drop this from high, this, um, the first layer of protection won't touch the ground. What it touches in the ground is this straws. So it gives one, the first protective layer when you drop it from the from high. And actually this inside of this um, egg protect, protective layer by this uh, toilet to roll won't touch the ground. It will give more protection. So 
even though it looks a little weird <laughs> it, it's okay so when uh, at home you can try to use any materials that you like and also you can use recycled materials and you can be very creative on this and if you want you can kind of uh, you can test more than one design and make a chart and write the result like which which did you expect to work the best and which did actually worked so you can kind of make a report and um, write it down and then you can compare the result okay now it's time to test this um, egg drop so I ended up not using this cotton balls it's okay I think uh, it's it's better to have more materials but the, within the materials you can choose which materials you want to actually use that's totally okay and but you can have more options okay now I'm gonna test this egg drop if, to see if this actually works. I'm gonna drop this egg drop device from a pipe right here so it will drop to the floor right around there so I'm gonna count three three two That's one good. if this worked okay if it uh, breaks inside it's totally fine because you can do it uh, with the new uh, another materials that you can find at home so this uh, you can have broken egg inside doesn't matter you can try uh, again so let's find out and see okay, let me see oh my goodness oh it didn't break oh wow <laughs> Oh, look at this. It's all good. Wow. So if your device didn't work for the first time, you can create another one and test and compare those two or three devices to see if which one um, worked the best and kind of think about why it did work, why it didn't work. So it's a fun uh, STEM challenge that you can do at home. I hope you try at home too. And um, yeah, have fun with that. Okay, I hope to see you guys next time. Bye guys.